Hello lovely friends from the internet. It is Connie over here and today I'm going to do something that I think is very cool. I think my camera is tilted as well. Hello? Is that better? Is that worse? I have no clue. Anyway, it's just gonna stay like this. I hope it's not t tilted. All right, so today I'm gonna do something that I think is very funny, very cool, which is I'm gonna smoke a cigarette, you know, it's just to feel the original. My favorite, the best out there. I'm not gonna say anything else about them. Um, but every time I want to inhale or exhale, I guess inhale only, I have to do a trick. So I'm gonna smoke this whole cigarette by only doing tricks with it. And I think it's gonna be very funny. So I'm gonna light it up and see if I don't mess up. Like I don't, I can't inhale like normally. Only the first hit, cause the first hit doesn't even have enough smoke for me to do a trick with. But from the first from the first hit on, I can only do tricks. So yeah, let's go. It might have been enough for me to do a trick, but honestly, I don't really know. I don't, I don't like the first hit. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. I feel like the first hit of cigarettes never tastes as good as the cigarette actually tastes for the remaining parts of it, you know? I don't know. I feel like it's not much smoke. It's just a weird taste. I don't even, I don't really like to inhale the first hit at all. So I don't know. So that's why I kind of always avoid the first hit and also the last one right before the filter i really don't like that at all everything in between very good i love it i like it but the first and last hits i avoid them you know i, I gotta do the first because it's like i need to light the cigarette somehow but the last one i usually don't smoke it it's been very stormy here in portugal i think a big storm is actually passing through the north of my country right now but I live in like the center in the coast area, so it's kind of, I'm kind of feeling it here as well. So my only option is to do a little hot box, which I've been doing every day nonetheless. Like I've not smoked with my windows down in a long time because it's just been windy. And honestly, I kind of like cigarette hot boxes at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's actually very good for tricks. So that's why I decided to do a video all about tricks because what's better for tricks than no wind. And there's no wind in my car right now because the windows are all up. Also, I've gotten so much better with my ghost inhale, like it took me so much time to learn this stupid trick, like way more than I think it was necessary, you know, most people I know that know how to do the ghost inhale. They are mainly herb smokers, you know, not cigarette smokers, if you know what I'm saying, but they learned it in like one or two tries and I've been here for like what six months on this channel trying to document my process through learning this stupid ghost inhale and I've learned it like I think last month or like a month and a half ago was the point where I feel like I've learned the trick, but it was so hard and I don't know why. It was not necessar necessary for it to be that hard. But I think my favorite trick will always be the French inhale. I just think it looks so cool. Although in the ghost inhale, you have the, the cloud of smoke leaving and going back in your mouth that's why it's called a ghost because it's kind of like a ghost you know i guess i mean i never really researched about it that's just what i think it is but i don't know the french inhale is just like strings of smoke going into your nose it looks so cool i don't know i just like doing it as, as a lot I, i've been trying to learn so the next trick that i've been trying to learn is the bane inhale and the Bane inhale is the same concept as the French inhale, but instead of having one singular string or two strings going up from your mouth to your nose, you have like a lot of strings. And I don't really know the technique on how to do it. Like, honestly, I don't know. I just know that you need to open your mouth a little bit more and it looks really goofy when you cannot do it and you are just trying to do it. So yeah, I think I just did one, but it was kind of ugly. Let's try again. Did I kind of do it? That looked like a lot of strings, but it was so messy. Like the smoke was just coming in and out. I don't know. But I feel like that's the next inhale that I want to learn. And if I if I had so much, if it was so easy to me to learn the French inhale, I feel like the similar one, its brother, the Ben inhale, should be easy as well, right? So I'm just going to keep trying it. It's a little bit messy. I don't know. Also, I feel like having so much smoke going into your nose is not very good because after I do these videos or I just am alone smoking and I do a lot of tricks involving my nose, you know, and smoking going into my nose, I feel like I feel my nose burning after and I don't really 
like that sensation but the tricks do look cool and they are very funny to practice and to just accomplish you know so i don't know i really like doing it but it kind of burns my nose a little bit like sometimes the, not even really having the smoke going to my nose but when i'm doing for example this ghost inhale that i just did some smoke went into my nose and i just feel like the right side of my nose burning a little bit because some smoke just entered and the worst thing that happens with smoke is when I, I'm doing a trick or I'm smoking a cigarette, you know, and I blow smoke out and the smoke gets trapped between my eye and my glass So it doesn't leave this area and it just keeps going into my eye and it burns so much like smoke in your eye is probably the worst feeling With like regarding cigarettes, you know, it just it hurts. It's not good But you know having the tricks and seeing how the tricks Go when they are well made is worth so if I have to have a little pain in my eye a little pain in my nose I guess I'll take it, you know Also, I used to, I don't know how long you've been watching my channel, you know, but I used to do this thing where I would puff my cheeks every time I would inhale, so like, you know, and now I don't do it anymore with normal inhales, like when I'm just smoking a cigarette normally, but when I'm doing tricks, like I think it's because I'm trying to gather the smoke in the center of my mouth, I don't really know, I puff my cheeks and I somehow make the smoke all go into the center of my mouth so it leaves and in like a cloud I don't know how to explain that honestly um, but I feel like the only time I ever puff my cheeks anymore is when I'm trying to do tricks which is kind of funny because it was kind of part of my old smoking style if that's even a thing I think it is and I kind of lost it I really I don't know I really liked the fact that I puffed my cheeks because I think it was kind of unique but I've just lost it and I'm not gonna force it you know but it was something that when I watched my old videos and I'm like inhaling and I puff my cheeks I'm like wow that's kind of that's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Of, of course, like many people do it, you know. I'm just talking YouTube wise, but now I don't do it anymore. Only when I do tricks. So it's like, why did I lose it? I don't know. When did I lost it? You know, I don't know. Because now when I'm inhaling normally, I don't puff my cheeks anymore. I don't know why. I don't know how certain smoking styles are developed. I don't know how you lose them. If it's because I've become became i've become more experienced with the smoke and i don't feel like i need to puff my cheeks anymore i don't know i honestly don't know i feel like i don't know is the sentence that i probably say more the most in my videos because i just don't know a lot of stuff so if that kind of bothers you i'm sorry i would leave because i keep saying it a lot of times Oh my god, I think I just did a bane inhale. I think I got it. I think you need to... All right, this is not a tutorial, okay? I just did it once and I'm gonna try to explain what I did. So, I think what I did is I closed my teeth together like this and then I blew the smoke out of my teeth. So, like, I don't know. Let me try again. That was not really it, was it? So, this is the last hit and I'm gonna try to take it without burning myself. I don't know, I just feel like this hit tastes so so much different than the rest of the cigarette and it also burns my fingers and sometimes I burn myself when I'm trying to take the last hit because it's like the cigarette's so tiny that I'm trying to hold it as close to the fire as possible, as close to where it's burning, that I sometimes burn my fingers so that's why I think I avoid the last hit so much because it's like I don't want to burn myself. But yeah, those were a lot of tricks and I think I'm getting kind of the gist is that how you say it, of the bane inhale. So I think I'm gonna keep practicing it. And eventually I'll do a full video on I only do bane inhales, but I don't think I can do it yet because I don't really do it consistently, you know? But yeah, I'm definitely gonna practice it and I'm gonna bring it to the channel one of these days. And I hope you enjoyed this chilling for a little bit. And yeah, if you wanna practice tricks in a safe way, you can get a zero nicotine vape, you know? Like it doesn't have nicotine, it has some chemicals, but not many, it's just like the flavoring and the rest of vape stuff, but it does not have nicotine. That's what I used for a long time to practice my ghost inhale. I just got a zero nicotine vape, which I showed here. And I just practiced the ghost inhale because I was like, I didn't want to get addicted. So I didn't want to have a very nicotine full, you know, cigarette or vape and just get hella nicotine in my body. So yeah, zero nicotine vapes are good for that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.